Hi. Hello. What is up, YouTube? And welcome back to my channel. This video has been put on such a back burner for like a really long time. I was supposed to have it out actually yesterday, which would have been Thursday, but Florida weather has not been in my favor at all. If you live in Florida, you should know that the weather is sunny and that it's stormy and that it's sunny and that it's stormy. And obviously I like to wait to film when it's not super sunny if I'm doing a sit down little chitty chat. It has been super stormy in the evening, so I haven't gotten a chance to sit down and film without like loud clashes of thunder in the background. And it's been so dark from the clouds that my room literally turns pitch black. But with that being said, here I am. Hello, we are going to chit chat. I am so excited about this topic because everyone, everyone just asks me about my progress a lot, about my weight loss, about like what they can do differently that gets them similar results. Everybody's body is different though. So the way my body is gonna show results may not show up the same on your body. So let's like take that into consideration. So without further, I do. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and let's get started. I need to... I need my notes. I need my notes! Stay on topic! Hello, I feel like my hair is like super I just use this oil on it and my hair is already like super oily so not the best idea but it said it will moisturize it so that was not thunder there is a storm coming so i'ma film so quick today let's chitta chat 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 chitta chat 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 about why you aren't seeing results in the gym. Let's go. For one, you're not fueling your body properly. If you are not fueling your body with the right amount of macronutrients, you are not going to see results. That includes protein. Like you need to eat a lot of protein. Um, in terms of building muscle. Protein is so imminent in building muscle. Um, same thing, you just have to focus on getting in all of the food groups that your body needs. You remember the food pyramid in school? Well, that still kind of applies. It's obviously very different now. Like we've discovered that carbs are not the enemy. Your body needs fuel to operate. Carbs are fuel, protein's fuel. You need those calories you need the right amount do not i repeat do not starve yourself that is like the opposite of what you want to do if you think by starving yourself you are going to get killer abs while working your core every day you are very much mistaken so one thing is you are not fueling your body properly there is a time and place where you can treat yourself and of course always enjoy the luxuries of life like going to Chipotle and um, eating all the queso you want, but save that for certain moments. Save that for moments with your friends. Save that for a specific day during the week. Don't constantly blow your workout by fueling your body with the wrong types of food. I'm not saying that food is necessarily bad. We all love to treat ourselves and enjoy our time eating certain foods. Of course, like I will never say no to some chips and salsa. Are you kidding? I will never say no. Do not deny me chips, salsa, Mexican food, or margaritas. I will always say yes. I'm not saying deny yourself those kinds of things. But I am saying if you want to see progress, you have to be consistent in fueling your body with the right amount of food and the right 
kinds of food that are going to result in showing more progress such as building muscle and fat loss, especially if you're pairing it with the gym. God, you are not pushing yourself. You are not growing. You are staying very stagnant if you are lifting the same amount of weights for months and months and months and you aren't pushing by lifting heavier. The misconception is that by lifting heavier, you are going to get bulky. You are not going to get bulky unless you are eating 8,000 calories a day and pairing it with heavy lifting. Obviously, you want to gradually work your way up to lifting a heavier weight, but nonetheless, you want to lift heavier. You want to push your weight, especially on those leg days. If you already know you can squat like 50 pounds, why are you going to go to the gym and keep squatting 50 pounds every time you go? Because it's your comfort zone. You want to push yourself out of your comfort zone. You have to, once your body adjusts to certain weight, it's not going to start showing progress. It's going to kind of plateau because you aren't pushing your strength. You aren't pushing yourself and you're just doing what you've already built up to. So you're kind of staying stagnant in the same area. You have to push yourself, whether it's running faster, if you're doing sprints on the treadmill, whether it's, you know, squatting heavier. Like I said, I personally, like, even though I run constantly and I sprint, I just started kind of implementing sprints. I started sprints kind of last week and last week I started my sprints at intervals like the first few intervals I sprinted at like a 9.5 to 10 and then the next interval I sprinted at a 10.5 and then this week I did 11 and 11.5 so I'm working myself up and I'm pushing my body and that's what's going to get you the results. Plus, who doesn't love to feel super accomplished once you push your body and you're like, heck yeah, I just squatted 200 pounds, right? I mean, props to you, but still, you want to push yourself, people. I feel like jump, jump in. Like if, if you remember the, um, the video, the video the movie jump in on Disney Channel. Push it, push it to the limit, limit. Cause you're in it, win, in it to win. Oh yeah, push it. Anyone? No, just me. Next is you are not allowing your body to rest and recover for, okay. We're gonna get, hello? Okay, I don't have much time. <laughs> and my personal training. People see I train a lot. I am constantly running. I run seven days a week. I train train five days a week. I constantly push my body in on top of doing just like jogging um, and running every morning. I am also implementing sprints now four days a week and doing hit on the treadmill. So that is a lot, but that is what my body does that's just like i know my body and i know my limit like i know if i'm feeling very fatigued or lethargic and i need to rest i know when my body needs to take that rest time and that period of rest and if i do choose to take that rest i am going on like a little walk or something something that doesn't i know we just talked about pushing ourselves but there's a difference between pushing weight and getting out of your comfort zone and pushing yourself to the point where like you can't move like you're so tired you're gonna throw up you're gonna pass out there is a difference so when i know that my muscles just can't do intense running after i trained or whatever i will just take a light brisk walk i'm still technically being active but i'm allowing my body to rest and recover rest and recovery are actually prominent especially in terms of muscle growth when you're lifting you're tearing those muscles and allowing them to repair themselves that's rest 
you rest take that rest day and even if it is active rest i believe it's so important to do move your body and get active because of the mental benefits as well as physical benefits um but just going for a walk going for a light swim um doing yoga stretching stuff like that that still moves your body but allows you the rest and recovery time that you need so you're ready to slay the next day uh, uh, this is kind of kind of a specific topic this is mainly for your lower body days if you saw my instagram post talking about glute activation and the importance of it i highly suggest you use it i have seen drastic results in terms of just activating my glute muscles before i was seeing like minor results like I was seeing the fact that my booty was getting a little popping but that thing be busted <laughs> I mean glute activation has allowed me to not only just like feel I feel like I'm working those muscles way more in terms of squats and just working on my legs before they weren't as engaged I didn't kind of wake them up you know so I definitely suggest I know it's like kind of a side random point but if you want like more glute growth if you want more improvement in the lower body area I highly 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 suggest glute activation exercises they seriously they change the game and now that I've done it to know how much more engaged my booty is in the workouts when I'm trying to grow the booty it makes a whole lot of a difference I promise if you are trying to lose weight at all if you are in there for fat loss if you want to lose the weight you've been trying to lose since 1964 I don't know but you cannot I mean you cannot I know we briefly talked about it but you cannot go into the gym expect yourself to burn all these calories and eat those calories right back you have to remain in that calorie deficit like i've talked about in almost every single video mentioning weight loss and results you have to be in a calorie deficit if you want to see fat loss and there comes a time when okay so let's say maybe you've lost a lot of weight there may come a time where your body starts to plateau and that's because it's just getting used to the same cycle over and over the body is smart the body will adjust however we train it once it gets used to a certain thing you aren't going to see progress in that area until you change it up so that's where you can kind of incorporate i like to incorporate carb cycling sometimes i'm not super strict on it i don't really track it as often but carb cycling helps um, in terms of changing from low carb days to higher carb days, that's kind of like shocking your body in a way. Same thing with, I tend to do like a reverse dieting thing where on two days of the week, I try and eat higher calories and then the rest, I kind of still stay in my calorie deficit. That's kind of what I do is like I eat in a higher calorie range because again, it's like shocking my body. My body's so used to me eating around the same things constantly that it's just gonna not really lose fat because it's gonna be like, hey, this girl is just doing her daily chore, her daily thing. So then my body's taking note of that and not really progressing in a way that I want. So I kind of boost that. Not only will it help kind of be like, whoa, what's she doing there? But it's gonna boost my metabolism. Those are kind of my top tips on that subject and why you may not be seeing results in the gym. If you feel like you need more in-depth advice or need someone to reach out to you, feel free to drop a comment below. Feel free to DM me on Instagram. I am always open, available to talk about the subject, available to just lend any advice I can from my personal journey. Again, these are tips that I have personally used that I have found that work for me. It may not work for you, but that is 
what worked for me. So I hope you find these tips kind of helpful and I hope you're getting the results that you want. With that being said, don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and have a beautiful day.